a lot is happening and I believe we're gonna be shaken up we're gonna be waking up and a lot of people are not gonna have a clue of what's going on they're not gonna have no history we need the Welcome aboard the Just Todd Now ship, my friends, with your buddy, Captain Naga. Today's episode is going to tie on UFOs. I was watching a bunch of unsealed alien files last night, 2 in the morning. Don't ask me why, but we're going to tie, and you're going to know why in a bit. I've been interested in extraterrestrials and aliens, Independence Day, Will Smith movies, yada yada. I've been loving all this stuff since I was but a kid. Sci-fi, science fiction. And the more I grew up, the more it shaped my everyday life, my everyday thought processes. I was always, still always looking up at the skies. Like, is that a cloud? What was that, that thing right there? It was it, I don't know. I'm always just keeping that eye, my eye open. But on UFOs, it's a lot to tie on. It's a lot to tie on. Now, I'm not all for the, oh, the aliens kidnapped me out of my bedroom stuff type stuff. Or I know like 90% of the stuff I hear is just a lot of misunderstandings. But no one's crazy. And that's why I never stopped tying. Crazy just means you don't understand. So, the tall, the tie about the UFOs, though. First of all, I've never seen one with my own two eyes. I thought I seen one about three weeks ago, me and my girlfriend. But I'm not sure. It was there for like three seconds. Could have been a meteorite. It was blue, like a blue, low-lying streak. But past that. UFOs have been interacting with our, with this ego, with this reality for thousands of years. And it seems as though every time one of these, these things that we can identify appear, they shape the paradigm of human culture. If you look back at the Renaissance paintings, you'll be shocked to see that even Leonardo drew UFO saucers and his paintings. A lot of the Renaissance artists done that. In some cases of the Bible can be reinterpreted to some as UFO abductions. Just time. But for me, I believe that they exist probably on other other planets because if we to believe everything that we grew up with, there's thousands of planets out there, millions, billions, kajillions. So the potential for life has to be at least in the bajillions. So take it or leave it. But for this extra dimensional, multi reality type town that my mind stay focused on, these creatures that people are dealing with and interacting with, I believe, exist on a whole nother realm of reality that is here but it's not here you need your eye to see it or certain technologies in the future but let's see where we head to or a combination of both because we all hear how we see them zipping across the sky and it looked like it was just wasn't any propulsion but they just being intelligently controlled like controlling it with their mind if you want to talk about that story but there are thousands of cases of like airplanes, pilots, government officials, everyday people. I was listening to a Terrence McKenna talk just a, a, like 30 minutes ago. And he was talking to a guy about UFOs and near death experiences. And he was saying, and psychedelics as well, saying, how does this all tie into each other? TIE. Or a tie, think about it, think about it. How does this all tie together? And he was saying how 
every experience ties into you going somewhere else completely out of this world and coming back. Like, what is really a near-death experience if you never die? Especially if you come back. <laughs> Just talk. But all what he was trying to say was when the people left this earth, they came back with a similar story. They came back with appreciating nature more, appreciating their everyday life, the little things, the cliches. They found those to be most valuable to them after these near-death experiences, high-dose psilocybin and LSD experiences, and UFO encounters. There's something going on. When I was younger, when I first was like trying to really tie about it intellectually, I was like, and I was still into the church, I was saying, what if these angels and demons, what if they're aliens? Because technically they're not from here, so they're foreigner, they're aliens. And that we just got it so misconstrued. But and it's so hard. It's so cool to really go dive deep into this because there's multiple levels. Say there's aliens on other planets, but also there's alien beings that exist in other realms of higher realities and they're manipulating this reality that we see now. What if all that is happening at once and it's like this race people on this earth, then another race people on different planets we're all just evolving but then certain races of people that went through all this evolutionary stuff already and they evolved their consciousness and stuff up to be closer to the all or God and now that's where they reside and that there's like continuous cycles where you can get thrown down into realities well the layers and that like for me talk about the fallen angels and stuff like that and how they was cast down because they was filled with pride because you always have free will I believe regardless of where you are whatever state of mind you are existing in wherever your awareness is aware of at the moment you always have freedom free will don't ever let anyone tell you that <laughs> but these UFOs my guy these UFOs it's a lot going on with the government probably even having their own machines. And we just think that they're extraterrestrials, but it's government secret projects going on. And most likely to me, my mind, they were in cahoots with other extraterrestrials terrestrial, that crash landed here and they reverse engineered everything like Tie about the 60s and when we finally got fiber optics after the Roswell crash and all this technology popped up or they're connecting with their mind with the psychedelics in whatever meditation form or whatever ritual form they're using and they're connecting to these extraterrestrial beings through their mind because space is mine that's why that that thing like don't be too spacey oh you spaced out like yes you want to be spaced out from time to time you want to be in space that's where space is just ta but this UFO thing is so much and we're going to keep diving deep about this stuff because a lot is happening and I believe we're going to be shaken up we're going to be waking up and a lot of people are not going to have a clue of what's going on. They're not going to have no history. We need to stay with our, learn your history. Keep your mind open. Another thing Terrence and them was talking about was how the relationship between people that would get seducted in their mindset is like they either had traumas as younger people or their mind was just always open to or they have rough childhoods 
So their mind was always open to alternate possibilities because they were always trying to escape the one that was programmed into them because everything exists. We just programmed to one reality or another. So they were more open to seeing what was in the sky because their mind was waiting for any surprise. Just talk. That's all. That's really what I got to say about this UFO stuff right now. We all can leave comments if you want to join a conversation or if you have something in particular that you want me to tie when it comes to these UFO things. I'm going to do it more often or whenever it sparks into my membrane because this is really awesome. And it's always something to talk about. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Shout us out on Patreon. Become a Patreon. Patreon. And until next time, we all tie. But do we really tie? I don't know, dude. Until then, stay looking up. Captain Naga. Sign it out. A lot is happening, and I believe we're going to be shaking up. We're going to be waking up. And a lot of people are not going to have a clue of what's going on. They're not going to have no history. We need to...